Take two interactive trading lower. The company posting third quarter profit above forecast, but it missed estimates for uh, net bookings next quarter and guided uh, to lower than expected fourth quarter revenue. Uh, this was Take Two's first report since announcing that deal to buy Zynga for close uh, to $13 billion. Join us now to talk about the quarter and the sudden rush of consolidation in gaming is Strauss Zelnick, CEO. Uh, of take two, Strauss. It's good to see you. Uh, let's start. We'll, we'll do the, the consolidation in, in a second. But what about the the guidance for booking in the fourth quarter? What what do you attribute that to? How did the street get it wrong, or or it was below your your own uh, previous uh, estimates for for the quarter? Was it not? Look, we had great results in the third quarter. Uh, we're up six percent year over year for net bookings, eight hundred and sixty six million dollars. We've got it up for the year, 3.37 to 3.42 billion in net bookings. And, uh, you know, quarter to quarter movements are to be expected as our release schedule changes a little bit, but we're incredibly excited about how performing both our guidance and the street for the year. If we uh, were to just try to explain to, to people watching, what is it that goes into the quarterly uh, bookings that can influence it one way or another? Is it timing for new games? What What is it that, that, that can move the needle one way or another, Strauss, in general? Certainly timing for new games would matter and also just expected performance, but the performance is very strong across the board. We're not a quarter-to-quarter -quarter company. You know, we, we manage the company year-to-year, -year, and we will move releases around when it's necessary to make sure that we deliver a highly polished, uh, very high-quality release. Um, we have great releases coming for the fourth quarter. Actually, Ali Ali World becomes available today. That has an 87 Metacritic score on Switch. We're incredibly excited. And of course, WWE is coming. Um, Grand Theft Auto for next gen platforms and Tiny Tina's Wonderland. So the quarter is very strong. The year is very strong. We're generating over $400 million in free unrestricted cash flow for the year. Why do you think uh, at this point that? the consolidation, which really ramped up, even maybe you kicked it off to some extent, but I mean, that's a, that's a huge deal. Why do you say it doesn't change the landscape for you? We're a pure play interactive entertainment publisher. And uh, two minutes ago, there were three, three big ones. We were pretty distant third uh, with the, the Zynga combination. Uh, and the sale of Activision to Microsoft, we become a close number two out of two. Uh, we think that's a powerful competitive landscape, and, um, and we're excited to be in that position. Uh, the, in the entertainment business, you compete with everyone and you compete with yourself because people don't need our products. They want our products. And if we put out the best properties in the business, and that's our goal, our goal is to be the most creative, the most innovative, and the most efficient company in the business. When we achieve that, people show up. And whether we have 10 big competitors or, or one really doesn't matter. We still have to deliver. Well, everybody, I guess, now is in play. And, and you, at $20 billion, as far as a market cap, you seem like you'd be a great addition for, a, for someone, for a Sony or somebody. Are there any... Don't you expect to be approached? <laughs> you, you know, look, we're companies so we don't have any expectations we're here for the shareholders our job is to build this business and create value for the shareholders when we took over the business 14 years ago our market cap was 700 million dollars and our net revenues were 700 million dollars and we were losing a bunch of money we're a profitable company year in year out as we said our market cap is is, is roughly 20 billion dollars it's on the mat that market cap looks like over 30 billion dollars when we close the zinger combination which we expect to close in the first fiscal quarter of, uh, of this year and um, of next year, and, and we're incredibly excited about that. That makes us a substantial enterprise, and certainly we're able to compete very effectively with that scale. 